Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Sunday, the 14th of February. It is actually the Feast of the Transfiguration today and also Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to you. Uh, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we will sing our hymn throughout the service, Tree of Life and Awesome Mystery, and uh, we will sing the first verse now. Tree of life and awesome mystery, in your death we are reborn. Though you die in all of history, still you rise with every morn. Still you rise with every morn. And now we will say uh, the words of our uh, psalm, Psalm 114. When Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why is it, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back, O mountains, that you skip like rams, O hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we will sing the second and third verse of our hymn. Seed that dies to rise in glory, may we see ourselves in you. If we learn to live your story, may we die to rise anew. May we die to rise anew. We remember truth once spoken, love passed on through act and word. Every person lost and broken, where's the body of the Lord? Where's the body of the Lord? Our gospel is John 12, 24 to 32. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder, Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from earth, will draw all people to myself. The gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the tone in this gospel lesson is, uh, it shifts uh, quite a bit. Jesus is foretelling his own death, and he says that it's essential for him to die, that if, unless a grain falls to the earth and dies, that's the only way it can sprout and bring forth a hundredfold of itself. Um, and that's exactly what happens uh, with Jesus. Jesus' life. Jesus dies in order to bring us into a close relationship with God, and, uh, and that we might do the work of Jesus in the world today. Uh, so let's remember to look at Jesus' life and to follow Jesus' way. 
um, Jesus way of love, Jesus way of inclusion for all people, especially the outcast, the downtrodden, uh, and Jesus way of bringing transformation into people's lives that they might live fully uh, as God intended them to live and to be builders of God's kingdom in the here and now. So uh, let us remember that today, uh, ours are the hands of Jesus doing the work in the world. Ours are the feet of Jesus. And uh, God willing and with the Spirit inspiring us, ours can be the voice of Jesus as well. Let us remember to remain true to his way. And now let us sing the fourth verse of our hymn. Gentle Jesus, mighty Spirit, come and flame our hearts anew. We may all your joy inherit if we bear the cross with you, if we bear the cross with you. And now let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And in our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may de depart this life in your faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Luke, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our prayers today, we continue to pray for those who are sick, those known to each one of us and all the sick of our parish. We also pray for those who are sick because of COVID-19. We pray for those who are in hospital and for those who are afraid of dying at this time. We pray, O oh Lord, for all healers everywhere, for doctors, nurses, all healthcare personnel, for support staff and frontline workers. We pray, O oh Lord, that you might give them strength, especially as there is concern for a third wave coming. Give them strength, give them power. And we pray, O oh Lord, for all the research people, the scientists, all who are working on creating new vaccines, especially uh, targeted against the new variants. We pray, O oh Lord, for those responsible for providing vaccines for us. We pray that everything will go more quickly and lives will be saved. Today, especially, we pray for Linda Sutton, Gerald Taylor, Jackie Burton, Ahmad Masih, and Wayne Gregor. We pray, O oh Lord, for your peace for all of them and your healing touch, that they might have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for residents of long-term care homes, seniors, residences, and we pray for the aged wherever they are, those living alone in their own places. We pray for all who feel isolated, we pray, O oh Lord, for all of the support people for them, for staff and for essential caregivers and for family members and friends who safely reach out uh, to help with their loneliness and any needs that they have. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who have died. And especially we continue to remember Jason Buckle and Tony Baker. We pray, O oh Lord, for peace for them, that they know your gracious presence welcoming them into your kingdom and for their family and friends. May they have even a glimpse of their loved one's joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our refugee family, for Muhammad, Karima, Fatin, and Ahmed. Keep them safe, O oh Lord. Keep the hope alive in them. And may the process go more quickly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list. And if you are joining us from another parish or community, I invite you to pray for members of your community too. Today, we pray for Howie, Vicki, David, and Ashley Mix. We pray for Chris Miller and Veronica Richards Miller, for Gary Milne, for John, Karen, Andrew, and Madeline Milne, for Ruth Milne, for Bill and Jane Milne, for Greg Minion, for Eileen Misson, for Bob Misson, and for Joan Moffat. We pray, O oh Lord, for your peace for all of them. We pray for um, that they might know they belong to a community of faith that celebrates them, cares for them, and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for um, the Anglican Church of Canada. The world is praying for the Anglican Church of Canada today. So we give thanks for our church. We pray for all of the dioceses and bishops, clergy, and people. May we remember that we form the body of Christ in the world along with other churches and may we be engaged in the mission of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And among the Society of St. John the Evangelist, we pray for another brother, Brother Lucas Hall. We give you thanks for his words of wisdom, his ministry, and all that he does to be a worker in your vineyard. We pray, O oh Lord, to continue to grace him so that grace might flow through him to the wider community and help him to know the support he has in prayer from those who uh, appreciate him and pray for him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray our nighttime prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray the collect for Transfiguration Sunday. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now let us sing the last verse of our hymn. 
Christ, you lead, and we shall follow, stumbling though our steps may be. One with you in joy and sorrow, we the river, you the sea. We the river, you the sea. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening, and I hope that you'll be able to join us every evening. Now, tomorrow is family day, so I had forgotten that earlier. So there won't actually be uh, an evening prayer online uh, tomorrow. You might want to look at a previous uh, evening prayer if you still want to uh, keep the discipline. Um, so Monday and Friday this week, there's not an evening prayer. But I uh, hope to see you again on Tuesday evening. And uh, all God's blessings to you. Um, happy Valentine's Day again, and uh, a, a blessed transfiguration, and may you have a restful night's sleep. Good night.